All right, so we just got off the Disney Skyliner and we're actually doing Pop Century and Art of Animation. We're gonna do a tour of each of these. I had no idea that they were connected. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, this is called Hourglass Lake, I believe she called it. So it's a nice little view when you're jumping off the Skyliner. But again, Art of Animation and Pop Century have fantastic transportation. This is the uh, Disney World's only floating Skyliner station as they called it, which is funny because there's not very many stations. I think there's three total or four total technically um, with the parks. I guess five, <laughs> five I think. So I guess we'll do the math. Math is hard. So I think what we'll do is we'll actually start, we'll go over to Disney's Pop Century and we'll talk a little bit about Pop. We'll go and tour it and kind of show you around like the different eras that they have and years that they celebrate. So this starts our tour. We're starting from the Skyliner because I was at Studios in the last video. So having been in Studios in the last video and now heading into Pop Century, I can honestly say that these two resorts between Pop Century and Art of Animation have fantastic transportation to and from Hollywood Studios, which would then have good transportation to Epcot as well because you can take the boats in between the two of them uh, and you can walk. So definitely uh, recommend at least Pop Century uh, for now because this is the Pop Century resort video. But we'll do Art of Animation. I'll talk a little bit about it going on the way back to Art of Animation. So let's head into Pop Century and uh, kind of show you what it's, I guess, what it's all about. All right, so we come up right on the directory right away and we've got all sorts of stuff. We've got an arcade, we've got the Skyliner, goofy spot, I don't even know what that means. Um, guest parking, jogging path, uh, and I've got, I'll show you the running path as well because they've got one here just like they do in most of the resorts. But here is a layout, here's a lay of the land. You've got different decades, 70s, 80s, 90s, and then it goes backwards into the 60s and 50s. But you've got different zones as well um, that have the decades, 50s. 60s is kind of this one that we're just going to jump in right away and then the 70s 80s 90s actually you know what let's start in the 50s and we'll kind of come back around this way so i'm going to head down this path here down towards that we'll kind of go into this main area which is the lobby and let's just start exploring it should be pretty exciting because i've not been in this resort for a really long time so let's start in the 60s signs um but we're going to head towards the 50s so you'll, you'll see 60s stuff here on the right hand side it's kind of backwards the way that it's laid out from the Skyliner, but if you came in from this side of the resort, you could actually just do a full complete circle and it would be all the way through the 90s. It's fun because they haven't really created the 2000s yet uh, and above because this resort hasn't gone under any kind of re uh, reconstruction or anything like that. So refurbishment. So let's just, uh, let's keep going. Let's read some of these signs. The Gateway Memorial Arch created by Eero Saarinen. It's completed in St. Louis, Missouri. Soft contact lenses are created. I like this. So like if you're on a little walk, just read all these fun facts. But so far, I'm digging this theme. All right, so I was just reading over the information about Pop Century. It is a value resort. It has 200 or 2,800 rooms. Uh, it is right across the, the, I guess this is the lake, uh, Hourglass Lake from Art of Animation. It's got the gondola, um, the Skyliners that go over to uh, Hollywood Studios as also as bus services to the parks as well. Um, there is preferred rooms that uh, are going to cost you a little bit more than just your standard rooms. Preferred rooms are oftentimes the pool views, and the pool views are actually I think louder just because you're near all the action. Um, so these these resorts do tend to be a little bit more loud um, than I would say some of the like moderate and deluxe resorts, just because they're outdoors and they're all near the pool. Um, there's a lot of rooms that uh, sit by pools or like areas in which you need a lot of recreation going on. Um, but just kind of looking at the room rates, $154 is kind of where it starts. And then seasonally, it can get all the way up to like $316 um, for the standard room. Preferred room, $171, all the way up to about $338, just depending on the, the season as well. Um, and again, those standard pool views, $161 is where they start compared to like the preferred pool view, um, which I think is a little bit further off the main drag. Uh, it's $182 and goes all the way up to that $336 mark-ish. So, I don't know. Um, I think just depending on the season. So I imagine the people that are staying here right now because of spring break and Easter, they're probably paying a little bit more, obviously, just because it's a busy time for Disney World. So those are kind of where it runs you. Um, and the rooms are your standard value room sizes. Um, you can get like conjoining rooms with doors. So again, pretty good uh, value for your price. Um, it stays in those value prices. So pretty good deal uh, if you're coming to Walt Disney World for the first time or maybe you just kind of want to see and experience what it's all about. 
Now with value resorts, uh, what you'll oftentimes see is people that are not going to spend a lot of time in the room. So um, I know as a younger person in my 20s, when I was in college, these are really the only ones that I could afford at the time. And because I wasn't gonna spend a lot of time in the rooms, I didn't really find it that interesting to kind of go up above and spend a bunch of money on a resort I wasn't gonna be in. But again, uh, it all just depends, I think, on how much you're willing to spend for each of these rooms. All right, so we're walking up on our first like block of 50s, so the 1950s uh, resume, <laughs> resorts uh, rooms because uh, I can't speak today, obviously. But 1957, Utah becomes the last state on the Navajo Nation to give voting rights to Navajos. Frisbee disc throwing sweeps across U.S. college campuses. I like the fun facts. Oh, a transistor radio. That's fun. They've got like the records here. Sorry if you feel like I'm filming into your room. I don't mean it. Ooh, look at the bowling pin. Wow. That's pretty. I like that it's kind of incorporated into the stairs. Hang loose, baby. And obviously, um, people are having a good time on their vacation going to the pool. You're going to hear a lot of noise uh, at these pools. Maybe not so much today because it is overcast. Uh, it's actually one of the first overcast days we've had in a long time. It's been a long, long time since it's rained here finally rain this morning but I, I'm digging these these vibes it's a very 50s diner obviously um, especially once we get up here to like this what would be like a jukebox I guess and how the cards are kind of filtered through in the music the catalog of music that's fun yeah see I've never really been okay cool so this is the pool area again I feel really weird about filming the pool areas but uh, I can kind of give you an idea it's, it's shaped like a bowling pin yeah this is the resort and then you've got like the jukebox up here where it's got the music catalogs i enjoy that the sock hop and you'll notice that this uh resort and art of animation and the value resorts have these massive icons three plays quarter one play dime it's amazing how things how cheap things were back then but Bebop. Cool. Rock and roll. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's kind of like a little courtyard area. I think these are just stairs down this way. Yeah. Nothing really that way. If you park over there, that'd be the 50s lot, I imagine. And then back towards this way is where we just came from for the Skyliners. Pool's right here. So, they've actually got, looks like, what the heck are these? I'm so confused. But typically, like, yeah, this is where you're gonna get like girls' bathroom. You got the laundry room, magic band, access required. Huh. That looks like a lot washer and dryer. So you can do some laundry while you're here. Men's bathroom. What are these? Oh, they're bowling shoes. Ah, that's fun. Should have known that. It goes with the theming as well. This is like the little pool area. Like a ping pong table with kids are climbing. Water fountain, defibrillator in case you need it. Uh, telephone in case you need it. And it's got little bowling balls over there too because it's shaped like a bowling pin. Disney, well signed as always. The 50s, building one that way. And then look who it is. It's Lady. And you can't have Lady without its tramp. There he is. <laughs> this is cool. And they got their little dog house right here. I don't think that's actually anything. We'll go we'll go see. We'll go on the other side. But oh, these are so cool. There's a closer view of the tramp. Mm -hmm. And they kind of like got that theming in behind it as well. So that's pretty cool. I do enjoy that. Gotta come up with a better word than cool, though. Uh, this makes me feel excited about life. <laughs> uh, it's nothing. That's what I thought it was gonna be. It's a cast member only. It's like an electrical pool area. So, yeah. I like this little area, though. You would think, ooh, the dog. Um, you would think that they would have, like, little bench areas and stuff, too. To kind of sit and enjoy just the, the quiet, to be honest with you. It's very quiet at this resort tonight, or uh, I guess it's tonight, it's almost 5 p.m. 
But again, once the once the kiddos are back from the park, place is alive, and uh, it can be pretty loud at times. But we were actually in the All Stars the other day with our friend, and we went into their room, and it's actually really well blocked out because the doors are heavy. So that's a magnolia tree over there. All right, so now we're going into the 60s. So we're making, that's the transition from the 50s, that bowling pin. And now we're kind of on that, now the front side of the 60s. So we have all this, um, we have the 60s pool on this side as well. A lot of flower power, it looks like. But Duncan's Imperial tin, Tinite yo-yo tops. Was that a big thing in the 60s? I mean, I know yo-yos were, but is that a brand? It's gonna be like the lobby area on this side because the 50s parking lots like back here and then that's the lobby this whole building's the lobby so it's got all the decades on it and then we're gonna head this way down towards the 60s pool um, and I kind of show you what's over on this side as well ah you can see the yo-yo string up on the top they really didn't need to add that detail but of course they did because they're Disney and that's the staircase like you've got the bowling pin there you've got the staircase here it's the yo-yo. Flower power. So you're gonna have the restrooms here. Oh, they have a drink fill station right here as well. They got like a water bottle fill station. Uh, yeah, laundry rooms, just like the last building over there. Uh, they got some jungle book jamming through the speakers right here. So I'm gonna try to talk over it because they're gonna try to copyright it. Roman's bathroom. And then you go around like this way. And I think there's, a, yeah, it's the bar area. So, huh. Oh, you can get your uh, resort drinks here as well. You can fill up your refillable resort mugs. Pedal hours. 11 a.m. to 11.30 p.m. Keep your drink cold with a Pop Century Slap Wrap Koozie. Huh. Oh, celebrate Earth Month. You can get the cucumber gimlet. All right. I'm not sure I'd like that, but hmm, teach their own, I guess. But yeah, they got a cool, cool bar, or cool bar, and then you can zoom in on the menu there. See what they've got, strawberry margarita, or Mai Tai, strawberry smoothie. It's like a full bar right here. And then you got some drink options here as well. Hi. Hey, how are you? Good, what can I do for you, honey? I think I'm just gonna look, so, oh, okay. yeah, thank you. You got it. Yeah, they have all sorts of different choices of beers. It's this, there you go. Learn about environment, environmental sustainability. Very nice. You can get pretzels and chips and all sorts of different things. All sorts of like bar food and stuff. But yeah, they got the masters on too. Very nice. Yes. All right, so then you've got the 60s pool. It's shaped like a flower. Of course, I'm not going to try to record that. I hate recording the pool. It's just very uncomfortable. Oh, look, Petals Pool Bar. You can actually order some food there as well. What can you get? Looks like some frozen treats. What you got? Groovy grub. Groovy man. It's open till 11:30, which that's fantastic for a pool bar. Like, I feel like that's late, right? 11:30 for a pool bar? Oh, look at that. It's the pop sign. Very cool. You can get some henna and some tattoos over this little booth over here. They're getting their hair braided, like you would with the 60s. Kind of show you the directory show you where we are, kind of give you some idea. So again, we're by the flower pool with the 60s. And then we're going to start hitting 70s, 80s, 90s. Same kind of things, except this time they've gotten the 60 wear on. But you got like tables right here by the pool. But yeah, peace, man. Can you dig it? Yes, I can. Adorable. Play-Doh. And you got the elephant and the giraffe. I didn't even know the 60s were the big uh, Play-Doh era, but they are. Ah, look at it. I really wonder if Disney had to, like, pay some of these branding fees or, like, some licensing fees because... Can they just put Play-Doh there? They don't own Play-Doh. He's adorable. Blue and Mowgli. They're so tall. But this is the Jungle Book side. They had some Jungle Book jams going earlier, but didn't want to get copyrighted, so I turned it off the camera. So 
This is a this is right outside one of the 60 buildings. So if you have the opportunity, Jungle Book out in the 60s, and we're gonna head down this way and head over towards the 70s. All right, so Flower Power and the Pedal Bar are over there. This is the lobby. Got the big 90s sign. People taking pictures in front of it. We're gonna head this way because now we should be heading into the 70s. So let's go over here. Make sure we're headed in the right direction because. This all is confusing. This looks 70s, but I just want to make sure. Uh, yeah, so we're here. We're going to go through here and go through the 70s. Groovy. Let's do it. I wonder... It looks like they do have a fire pit here that they would normally do, like, marshmallows and, like, s'mores and stuff. But I think Disney has shut that down temporarily because we had a fire warning here in Orlando because we haven't had a lot of rain. And we get what's called like fire weather. And uh, when it's really dry, we don't quite uh, get enough rain to, to have fires and stuff. What the heck? That's cool. I guess this is what we have. Oh, I'm gonna guess a Chevy, just because I can kind of see their logo in it. Oh, look at the eight track, a lone horse. Most people wouldn't even know what an eight track is. These are days. Huh. I like that. Let's go back in here kind of show you what it looks like but again i'm really shocked and they, they i think they was similar at, at all stars a little bit they don't really have like that'd be perfect spots for benches right like just kind of hang out and chill i guess they have like little seats over here what is this oh it's twister what why would they oh this is fun you guys want to play twister so i'm guessing this came out in the 70s Oh yeah, you can see people did their doors for Easter and stuff. They always decorate their doors. It's pretty fun. It's like a big thing here at the Valley Resorts. Whoa. Does it... Does it always fall there? I guess not. It works. So yeah, you can play some Twister. And it's kind of spongy, so it wouldn't hurt if you fell, but... That's cute. This is great theming. I think the All-Stars have some of the best theming. All Stars Art of Animation, which we'll see next, but this is a lot of fun. And then you currently got Mickey sitting up there with the telephone. <laughs> and then on this side, you've got a big wheel. Whoa. <laughs> That's fun. All right, back behind the foosball table on the other side. We're gonna head down this way. I don't, are we headed towards the 80s? I feel like we are. Yeah, the signs say we are, so I guess we're in good shape, but again, no benches. I'm very confused. Maybe it was just too much maintenance. I don't know. Play another game of Twister. Oh yeah, we're headed back towards the 80s now. I see it. <laughs> again, not even going to say it. Perfect spot for you know what? A bench. I said it. Easy, listen, or easy listening, sweet sounds of the 70s. I think it goes 80s into the 90s at the end, is my guess. So I guess the Rubik's Cube was 80s, but then I'm <laughs> confused by Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head just because they're 90s, because that's when Toy Story came out. So, I don't know, it's a very confusing thing, but yeah. So we're back in the 80s slash 90s. So we're gonna transition nicely from these 80s into that blue building which is the 90s which is funny to me because they kind of just stop at the 90s and now i guess it's just done pac-man got some break dancing i know what that's called a walkman <laughs> that's awesome there's the pool and roger rabbit That's neat. I really like that. And Roger Ribbit. Totally awesome. Psychedelic. Wow. To the max radical, bro. Is that how they talked in the 80s and 90s? I don't know. I guess they really did, honestly. Look at Roger Rabbit. The 90s pool, shaped like a box. 
it's not that exciting. Um, we're gonna go hold down this way. I'll show you the 90s down here. Uh, and they are jamming here at the pool, but yeah, we're gonna head down this way, show you the 90s, and then I think we're gonna head back towards the lobby. All right, transitioning from the 80s and the Rubik's Cube to the 90s and CDs. We got some, some millennials dancing, I guess. Uh, the classic 90s baby. Um, that's really sad because it's actually becoming true because it's like 30 years away uh, from now. So it's, uh, it's wild that a, a uh, decade in which I was born is now considered, uh, as the kids would say, vintage or your old dude. So I like that this is the backside of the pool area. Okay, you got same thing, laundry room, bathrooms right here on the left hand side. I actually have detergent and stuff in there in the vending machine. Look at that laptop. Oh, that's so fun. Look at that Disney's Animal Kingdom opens today. <laughs> no way. That is awesome. Freaking love that. Look at the old MGM Studios. Wow. That's amazing. I'm going to zoom in for you guys so you can see, but look at this. That is fantastic. Old test track, the old birthday cake. Hollywood Tower of Terror and, and Animal Kingdom look the same still, but look at the old internet browser. That's what an old laptop looks like. It's amazing. So, all right. And then just to kind of show you, uh, this is the 90s building on the left. If you go straight out this way, it's the 80s parking lot. The 90s parking lot's back behind this building. So if you are staying here, you can drive your car around so you don't have to walk all the way from the lobby because it is a long walk. So the resort's check-ins are usually 3 p.m. Eastern time, and then there'll be 11 p.m. or sorry, 11 a.m. checkout times. Uh, they do come with free Wi-Fi, so uh, if you're staying here at a resort, you do get free Wi-Fi. And I wanna say the parking is free when you stay at a resort as well. So uh, yeah, those are kind of some of the amenities. They don't have a gym from what I can see, but we're gonna head into the lobby and I'll kind of show you what they have there as well. And again, just some random thoughts that I have as I'm walking. They've currently renovated all of the value resort rooms, so they're very nice. They've got hardwood floor, They've got usually a Murphy bed as well. Uh, they have another bed in there as a queen size. The bathrooms are all redone. It's very nice now. Uh, I would say there's not a bad spot in this whole, um, all these resorts in Walt Disney World that are bad. Um, they're all fantastic. They're up kept. They're really well done. The theming's fantastic. Uh, you have like what's called laundry view. You can actually sign into an app and see when like laundry machines are done or being used. So you can kind of like track your laundry. That's kind of cool. So. Just some random thoughts that I had walking through here. It took me all of like eight minutes to get to the lobby from the 90s building. They got them directories, but we're gonna head into the lobby, which is this blue building on the right hand side as you come off the 60s pool. There's some seating up underneath this awning right here, which the food court's gonna be right inside there. So come out that door, you can sit outside and enjoy the weather if the weather is worth enjoying. Um, but yeah, off the 60s pool, backside of the, the lobby, we're gonna go head in and I'll kind of show you like front desk, food court, and merch. And it's called the Classic Hall, is what their lobby's called, so let's head inside. Oh, they have an arcade. Fast forward arcade. Ah, we can go in here, I guess. Got some... Look at those pinball machines. Guardians, Star Wars, X-Men. Since they own X-Men now, I guess they can put that in here. This is really solid. Got some little vehicles you can ride. Got some Pac-Man we can enjoy. Wow, this is a really big arcade for... Well, this may be the biggest arcade that they've had still. This thing's massive. I guess because they have probably, I'd imagine, arcade machines and stuff. Well, I'm not going to go all the way back there, but they have arcade machines from different eras, so I'm guessing that's why. I really like this, though. This is a nice arcade. And then parents, just chill out in massage chairs. Do it. What's this? Oh, you can become an Avenger. Be in the comics. It's like a photo booth thing, and you can get it printed. Oh yeah, here's some prices. Arcade cards. Not too shabby. It's actually not bad at all. It's a pretty good value there. Very nice. What's that? Uh, ID, souvenir tags. Okay, cool. Um, wow, this lobby's big. It's like really nice. Ooh, what's this? <gasps> coconut? I love coconut. Carrot cake, pineapple filling. 
Young. That looks awesome. And then they've got some stuff from the different years, obviously. Got some Spice Girls. That's the old Spice Girls movie. In sync. Lenny Kravitz. Woodstock, right? I'm confused as to what I'm looking at. Huh. What is this? This kind of looks like Brink. Is that Brink? I think that's a picture of Brink. Why does that look like Brink? You know the Disney Plus or Disney Channel original? <gasps> Home Improvement. X Files. Simpsons. Look at the old remote. That's awesome. Oh. Whoa. You know what's crazy is like some of these things in this box would be like thousands of dollars. Look at the Pokemon cards. That's when you know you're old, when they put your stuff in vintage cases. Oh man, I hope that food's not from the 90s. I mean, that McDonald's fries actually might. They don't really uh, mold. Hey, there's the old laptop. That's literally what they look like. That's an old cell phone, an old car phone. Can you see that? Uh, no, I guess you really got that, like, old cell phone. Oh, we have those still. Those are not that old. I mean, they're old, but they're, they're still in season there. Some figures and stuff. Um, pretty much confused on this whole one. I don't even know who these people are. And it shows my age here. But yeah, this is like the front desk area, but they've got all sorts of photos from like different centuries, just centuries, decades along the wall. You can check in here. Star Wars. Old video camera, the Walkman. That's what a Walkman was. You listen to your music there. There's some really cool stuff in these. Look the old phones. My parents kind of had something like that, a big video camera. Oh. We had that when we were little. That was so cool. The phone with you could see the inner workings of it. We thought that was awesome. Elton John, Madonna, Michael, Tina Turner. What's that? Is that the old Atari? It is. <gasps> That's fun. Wonder Woman, Real Fortune. Let it all out. I don't want you to copyright me, please, YouTube, leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Please stop singing, please. <laughs> Simon says that's fun. I like that game. That was a lot of fun. They got Ninja Turtles. Wow, they got He-Man, Superman, Miss Piggy. They got the Smurfs. I'm trying to talk over the music, so I'm just going to start talking a ton here. Indiana Jones and Lost Raider. They got uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Wow, okay, that's interesting. They've got some uh, some Carl Lewis there. Whoa. The old workout bands that you put on your ankles. Mom used to have some of those. I like this. This case is a lot of fun. I'm guessing this is the 70s, obviously, because I'm guessing 70s or 60s. I can't tell if that's... That looks like Magic... Yeah, that's Magic Kingdom. That's Disney World. Okay. So the Disney World one. So that's the 70s. 1971. That's what Mad Hatter looked like. That's kind of freaky, to be honest with you. Mickey. We saw a picture of Mickey like that uh, in our last video. But Snow White, that lunchbox, we have this still. Like, technically, Disney still sells this similar kind of thing. The back scratcher. Some trolls, some big bird stuff. Rocky Horror. We got some Star Wars. What is this? Okay, Disco Mania. You got some disco stuff. Got the village people. I know them. Uh, let's just go village people still Saturday Night Fever. All right. I know all this stuff All right, you got some bowling looks like the 50s. I want to say I'm, I'm assuming yeah King bowling that was outside So yeah, 50s 50s diner. That's what the old uh, Jukebox used to look like you get those at your table and you could like pick the next songs at a diner That was really cool. They still have these at a uh, Red Robin. I believe I have this lunchbox It literally looks just like that one like all banged up I still have that at the house, which is pretty funny. Um, and then looks like some uh, board games and all sorts of other things in the 50s that I have no idea what they are. I have no idea what any of this is. But yes, uh, your value check-in 
is very efficient because they've got tons of different options to go to up and down. So uh, it doesn't take too long to check into the value resorts. And actually, you can start to check in now on your mobile device. So uh, we're going to head this way. Everything pop, shop, and dining. So we're going to go into the merchandise uh, in Food Court. It's a pretty rotunda. I like the really cool Port of Sky up there. And then right in, you go into everything pop, shop, and dining. And right away, you got the 100th merchandise, which I'm a huge fan of. If you watch the Hollywood Studios video, I am a massive fan of the colors they went with. I think a lot better than the 50th, to be honest with you. These mugs are huge. Gotta love a big mug because you can fill more coffee in it. Oh, I got the 100 pens, too. I kind of want to get Simba because I don't have him, I don't think. At least not yet. Tinkerbell, Mulan, Tiana, Coco. So, we saw all the rest of this stuff, I think. Yeah, we saw the rest of this at the parks. So, well, it's a pretty decent sized gift shop, to be honest with you. Saw all this merchandise the other day. Oh, Pop Century merch. Oh, magnets? That's cute. Cool. Love that. Oh, totally awesome. And I'm saying totally awesome because of the mug, not the that I think. I mean, they're cool, but. Ooh. Look at these ears. I like that a lot. It's groovy, man. It's the 60s flowers. It's got like the records on them. A little turntable action there. One size. I don't see a price on them. I'm going to guess $39, but that's just a guess. Have a nice day. Well, thank you, Pop Century shirt. And then the back of that shirt looks like that. More Skyliner stuff for the kiddos. Some regular Mickey Mouse shirts. They're bringing back like the older Mickeys and stuff. Like this type of Mickey, like 90s Mickey. Hey, how are you? Good. Yeah, really good. Thank you. Um, but yeah, no, they've got uh, some champagne and some cider, some wine. Just like the rest of the resorts. Ooh, they got a wine opener. That's brilliant. People forget about those all the time. Oh, they got liquor as well. Wow, I didn't know that they sold so many. Fireball, Bailey's, Kahlua, Captain Morgan, Absolute Vodka. Please drink responsibly. Very nice. Um, they got some mini ears or Mickey ears, however you want to say it. What's this? Marvel. Who is that? I don't know who that is. I'm very confused. Ooh, Tiana, look at that. That's beautiful. I love these ears. Got some coffee, some tea. So if you don't like the coffee or tea options in your room, you can get those. I think they're all Keurigs now, so I don't know if they have the cups or whatever. You can get some donuts or some like honey buns, some muffins, crackers, PB and J, so you can make some sandwiches. Got some whole wheat bread. I don't see any white bread. No, no white bread. Chips and salsa, some dips. Just some nice little grabs for free room in case you get hungry, some snacks. Resort mugs. Look at the new tops. That's fun. And then enjoy refills. Fountain drinks, coffee, tea. Oh, I didn't know you could do coffee. Oh, that's nice. I didn't know that. Oh, we got some pressed pennies. No pop century, though. That's interesting. Oh, look at that. They got some Easter eggs over here. Oh, look at that. That's adorable. I'm guessing the teams did this? Yeah. So each of the teams, food and beverage. Food and beverage did that one. Recreation created this one. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow, they can really draw. Look at Tigger. Oh, I like this. This is a great idea. Housekeeping. I don't know. Housekeeping uh, so far, I think, has the best one. Which one do you like the best? Front desk. Okay, that's all right. <gasps> Ooh, that's fun. Custodial. Mm, custodial wins. Yeah, I think custodial wins it all. And merch. I'm sorry, I got to go custodial. I think it's the magic eggdom. Definitely think that's the winner. Very nice. Oh, look, you can even uh, scan to vote. And I'm pretty sure whoever, which team gets uh, the win, 
will get a treat. I'm almost going to guarantee that for the cast members. So go vote. Even if you're not here, go vote. But yeah, look at look how many tables there are. This is what's always fascinating to me about value is how many tables are available in their food court. Oh, mobile order. That's where you get your mobile order. Right here on the left. I don't think I've ever seen in a food court like dining area so empty in my life. That's kind of cool. They have some root beer. I love that. Let's go back here and see what they got for food. They've got some specialty coffee and ice cream on this side. They got the Mickey's cookies and cream. Very nice brownie sundae, classic sundae. Huh. There's a specialty coffee. Tie-dye cheesecake. Alrighty. Whoa. It's a very open food court. Oh, they got some pimento burgers, bacon cheeseburgers, cheddar cheeseburgers, impossible burger, a sugar cookie. Alrighty. You got any more? Oh yeah. Grilled chicken sandwich, honey strips, or sorry, chicken strips, honey barbecued pork, a turkey sandwich, cheeseburger, chicken strips for the kiddos. They got that cookies and cream cupcake as well. They also have the tie-dye cheesecake. Oh, they got some Italian food over here too. It looks like some seafood on that side, maybe? Or like some, actually some more like, like chicken and garden, some salad stuff, I don't know. Chicken Parmesan pasta, penne, meatballs, gnocchi, pizza. Yeah, very nice. Greek salad, peppers, shrimp and grits, tuna, stir fry, beef, salmon. Okay, so this is like a mix of all sorts of different things. So wow, you, you have some options. That's a lot of options. They don't have like a sit-down restaurant uh, at any of the value places, but resorts. But they do have, a, they have a, quite a big selection in the food court. And their food court stuff's good. Like I've had their food court stuff. You get Spike. Oh, there's that springtime treat right there. Six bucks. Uh, that's so tempting. Especially because it's chocolate cupcake. Oh, I love chocolate cupcakes. Where's that other one? They have another one in here. Oh yeah, they do. There it is. Coconut sugar bunny cupcake. As long as it doesn't have peeps in it, that'd be a yummy treat. Oh, there's the cookies and cream cupcake. Which means that's the cheesecake. That's a funky looking cheesecake. Parfaits, fruits, milks, juice, salads. Be like a nice little thing to grab and take to the park because you can take these in the parks. So, oh, I have some decent snacks. Oh, look at the bakery. Oh man, look at all those treats. I'm telling you, man, they've got a lot of good treats here. Look at that. Ooh, coffee cake. Yum. Never had Disney's coffee cake. I had Starbucks. But, why? Oh, and then they got some beers and some wines as well. The sodas, root beers, juices. Very nice. Alrighty. I think that's going to do it here. Top Century. I think we've done it all. Let's kind of head back out and then we'll uh, close out the video. 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. Which is good because as you're coming back from the parks, it's going to be late and you can get some food. And that'll do it from Pop Century. I hope you guys enjoyed that little tour. It was nice. I haven't been back to this resort, um, or I haven't been to this resort for like five years. So it was really cool getting back, kind of exploring a little bit. Uh, I don't remember much about it. So it was really nice to kind of see the different areas, the different decades. I didn't realize how nice their lobby area was, nor was their food court that big that I remember. So uh, it was really a good trip over here to Pop Century. Kind of learned a lot. Um, and all the fun facts I've learned a ton so no it was a lot of fun I think this is a great resort it is a value resort uh, again uh, it's ranging from you know upwards of a hundred and some odd dollars to 300 and something I think it's three like 30 something uh, a night so again go back in the video if you want the prices I was better at describing the prices back then so 
Uh, again, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for joining me on this little uh, adventure to Pop Century. We're headed to Art of Animation next. So come along with me, uh, join me in that video. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share with anybody staying at Pop Century or if you're interested in Pop Century. Um, leave in the comments below if you've stayed there, what it was like. But other than that, thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you guys next time, and we hope to see you guys at the park.